I'm gonna make this uh, a weekly series. Debunking these clowns on Twitter. LeBron James stands. I'm gonna name it. Uh, I don't know. I forgot what I'm gonna name it, but this is one of the guys. You know, it's a little to all these guys. These guys are fans of the game. They stands. They only go one way though. Um, me being a LeBron fan, not a super fan. I'm considered a hater, so let's get into it. I'm going to debunk these things, and uh, I got a couple of these. So this is what I'm saying right here. He retweets that, as you see on the screenshot before. Uh, nothing. Brown always had more help, even when KD was there. Uh, no, that's a lie, but the, you can't get it. I don't know. I don't know these motherfuckers be trolling and shit like that. But, you know, you see me right there. Follow me there. One only this, please. Guys, follow me. Um, and my tweet to him was the tweet that you see before shows you how bad the East was. Um, don't ever compare his level of competition to MJ. Uh, you can't compare his level of competition to MJ. Those we can just use his uh his second uh three peat. He had the Magic. You had the Heat. You had the the Charlotte Hornets. You had the the Knicks. You had uh, the, the the bullets with with C Web. You had some good teams back there. Uh, you know the Heat had Mashburn, Tim Hardaway, Zoe. You know the Magic with Penny and Shaq. You can't compare. You can't compare. To, you know what I'm saying? And he's one of the he's one of the Twitter accounts that compare the uh, LeBron's the goat and this that and the third or whatnot. So. You know, that's just what that is. Let's move on to the next one. So this guy is insane. He replies to my tweet, as you just see above. He says, MJ's final competition, Magic, Worthy, Legit, Charles Barkley, Laugh, Clyde Drexler, Laugh, Gary Payton, Laugh, Malone and Stockton, Legit. I don't get it. I don't get it. How the hell can you say Charles Barkley not legit? He was the 62 win teams and he was the MVP of that year. So he went against the MVP. I'm trying to figure out the home what competition in the finals did LeBron face at their peaks. Yes, LeBron faced some good competition. Sure. He in 07 he faced the Spurs, but that wasn't MVP Tim Duncan. He faced a good Spurs team, if I'm not mistaken. Uh Tony Parker won that uh MVP that year. If I'm not mistaken, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. I know he won it one of those years. Uh, he also said Gary Payton He was a defensive player of the year One of the best on ball defenders Also when he stuck Jordan after game 3 His field goal percentage was uh, He left him with a lower field goal percentage Than he was shooting the uh, first 3 prior games So I don't know what you mean And he had Sean Kemp A 64 win Sonics team uh, And Stockton and Malone Of course legit uh, Two time MVP Malone both years 60, 62 plus wins Both of those years he went against what team can you really name that adds up to those uh, four teams from that Suns teams? Uh, the, the Lakers was was a little old, and they weren't even supposed to really be there in the first place. Uh, the Blazers was legit at the time. I would give you those, but I think those four teams were better than any team, in my opinion, not named the KD Warriors. Uh, that Heat team, uh, none of Jordan's championship teams were worse than that Heat team that that Los Angeles Lakers went against. The 07 Spurs team, in my opinion, I think from the 93 championship to his last dance championship were all better than that 07 Spurs team. In my opinion, they were better than that um, 2014 squad and the 2013 squad and the OKC team and the Mavs teams. Listen, you can go look back at the time. You can go look at all the numbers and stuff like that. In my opinion, those teams were better. He didn't go against no MVPs. He went against not MVP Dirk. He went against a solid Dirk who wasn't even favored to be in that position in the first place. If y'all guys remember, in 2011, the Spurs and the Lakers were the favorites to win. The Lakers was the first seed that got upset by the Grizzlies. I don't know what these people be talking about on here, but, you know, LeBron stands will say that and say that, oh, his competition was better. In the finals, his competition was not better than Michael Jordan's competition in the finals. So please miss me with that. No MVPs. The only time he faced the MVP in the finals was MVP Steph Curry, and he lost. 
what y'all would say in return to that is, oh, well, these people was injured. Well, okay, well, shit happened. Injuries happen. You still cannot downplay that is still a loss at the end of the day. He faced the MVP in the finals, and he lost. And he beat MVP stuff Curry one time. So he's 1-1 one one versus MVPs in the finals, while Michael Jordan is 3-0 and versus MVPs in the finals. So don't make no sense to me. Michael Jordan's competition is better overall in the finals, in my opinion. And in uh, the Eastern Conference And that's a fact right there It ain't even in my opinion right there His Eastern Conference competition was way better Let's get into the next one Still at it with this guy here uh, I say Barkley's a Hall of Fame And MVP that season As well as Malone That Sun Sonics, Jazz team Were all over 60 Plus uh, winning teams You name a bunch of Hall of Fame players And most of these teams were better than all except the KD Warriors, so I don't know what you're trying to prove. Act like Barkley is, Barkley is Serge Ibaka. He says, so you're saying that Gary Payton Sonics teams was better than the 39, 30, the 73-9 and Warriors or the Spurs of 2014. And this is what I'm saying with these LeBron stands on here. Now, y'all guys reading what I'm reading, right? I clearly say, except the KD Warriors. So obviously I'm going to say yes The 73-9 and nine team did not win shit What did they win besides get win, win, uh, See the thing that kills me right They will hype up this 73-9 and nine team But they don't say shit about the goddamn 66 win team heat They don't say shit about the goddamn 60s They call a 66 win Cavaliers team trash They just nitpick They just nitpick to make shit sound like Like yes those teams that he went against, they're losers just like them. Yes. You know, Gary Payton and that goddamn Sonics team was a 64-win team? Like, yeah, I think they're better than Reed, dumbass. Like, yeah, I said except the KD Warriors. So, obviously, I mean, they're better than all those other teams that he went against. Yes. Let's move on to the next one. So, this is me pretty much trolling this account right here. This account is the LeBron Kytus account. Pretty popular account on Twitter. Um... All this dude does is do anything that's trying to make LeBron be better than Jordan and any chance he get, no matter if it's throwing non-factual things out there. This man said that the Warriors made the playing field uneven. They said they didn't make the playing field. They didn't make the playing field uneven. They made it even enough to face the big three Celtics in the Spurs dynasty. Stop trying to compare the 73-9 Warriors who won a title before KD arrived. It then added them Y'all sound goofy So pretty much all I did Was just flip what he said And trolled them back in return For one you fucking dickhead Let me tell you something You said the 73 and 9 Warriors Are the 73 and 9 Warriors Are the 67 win uh, Warriors That won the championship No They lost The 73 and 9 Warriors Lost Sir They lost When LeBron went to goddamn heat did they not gentlemen sweep the whole playoffs? They first playoffs together. They 4 1 the whole Eastern Conference. They made the playing field uneven too. How is it fair when KD do it? Okay, there are two different ways how they went about it, but they still made the playing field uneven. Dog. What part don't you understand? It's cool when LeBron make the playing field uneven and he can stack the deck and no team's going to give him no competition. They went to four fucking straight finals. What? What? Like, come on, dog. They went to four straight finals. It got to be a reason why, right? Did the, did the KD Warriors go to four straight finals? Matter of fact, my bad. Yeah, the KD Warriors, they went to three straight finals. The Warriors before that was solid, too. Y'all don't say shit when they do it, when, when LeBron do, do it, stack the deck. But what y'all do, y'all like the Nick pick and be like, oh, it, it's a, it, look at the record. It, 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 the record. Who gives a fuck about the record? They didn't win shit. Do people mention the 17 and 0 or the 16 and 0 goddamn Patriots now? No. People still refer back to the Dolphins that won it all. Nobody cares about the 73 and 9 Warriors. They didn't win it all. The Cavaliers won it all. KD won up them. And they made it dominant. And on top of that, the 2017 Cavs teams was very great, too. They just went against a better, great team. Y'all, LeBron stands on Twitter are disgusting. 
Like, follow, subscribe, man. Part two next week.